<clears throat> Hi guys, how are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 26th September 2022. My name is T.S. V. Raghavan and I am a published author with Amazon Kindle and paperback. I write on spiritualism, fiction and assorted subjects. Spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject. This is my spiritual vlog on YouTube. Hari Bol T R S V Nectar N E C T A R Nectar. In this particular vlog, in my previous videos, we have been discussing about all the information and knowledge that we gleaned through the study of spiritual books, scriptures, contemplation on the material universe, and meditation on the spiritual universe. This particular video is no exception to that rule. In fact, it is only an extension of what we have been discussing in my previous videos. For the past few videos, we have been discussing about the purpose in life of every human living entity who comes and takes birth in this material universe. We have already discussed about both materially inclined and spiritually inclined people with a purpose in life and who achieved varied degrees of success in their endeavors in their, during their focus on their purposes in life. However, today I am going to discuss about one common person who is one among our society and whose life story may be an interesting story for you viewers to listen to because I am sure that most of you will be identifying that story or that story. That is because this guy is just a commoner and he is one among us. So kindly listen to this interesting life story or case study of this guy and find out how you can identify with him. What I am going to tell you is based on a lot of experience and I can assure you that almost 90% of what I am telling you or I am going to tell you is true. So let us go ahead with this story. For convenience for all of us, including the viewers, I will name this person as SP. SP is the full form of Squire Peg. Squire Peg 
in a round hole in the english language it means that a person who is a total and social misfit in the society this person happens to be one of those misfits that is the reason why i have given him the name square peg alias sp this man was born on 15th november 1958 at 12.05 hours in the mid afternoon in bangalore karnataka india that is this guy was born on a saturday at 12.05 pm that is afternoon on 15th november 1958 in a hospital in bangalore karnataka india nothing very very special about this however this guy probably had something running in his subconscious mind even before he was born that is probably something inside him told him that he is going to be born into a wrong atmosphere or an alien atmosphere what was the reason for this nobody knows however because of this when this guy was born he was so so dark complexioned that the nurses and doctors in the hospital thought that he was a blue baby they thought that this fellow looks like something alien or something which should not have been born however their misconceptions were cleared when this guy was 20 days old 20 days old they found that this guy was so dark because his whole body was totally poisoned because of a septic in his umbilical cord this guy's blood had turned into venom and that was the reason why he looked so dark the doctors wanted to tell or probably told the mother i think your son is going but this mother this young woman began a big hue and cry saying that even if my son is so useless or weak or sick i want him to be alive please save this fellow the doctors were exasperated they did not know what to do so they put 32 penicillin injections in the 20 day old body of this guy to save him by purifying his blood whether you believe this or not but this is true 
It was a 20-day-old boy who was given 32 penicillin injections so that his blood could be purified. Lo and behold, this guy came back to life on 6th December 1958. In other words, you may say that it was his first rebirth. Now, this guy had a problem when he was born. He was born in a very respectable middle class educated but highly orthodox family. This guy was a left-hander. And because he was a left-hander, his grandmother, that is his mother's mother, got very worried. The reason was According to what he had learned in her lifetime, only certain babies are born left-handed. Hence, in her genius and intelligence, this woman did everything possible to turn this naturally left-handed baby into a right-handed baby. At that time, she thought that she had achieved something incredible and great. However, she was unaware of the fact that she was pushing this already star-crossed guy into an abyss. This guy, who was left-handed because of his strong right brain, was forced to become right-handed so that his not very strong left brain was forced to work. This had its effect in the academic side of this boy, though he did not know anything about it then. However, the first thing this guy came to know or understood was at the age of four. At the age of four, this guy came to realize that he was already born and that he was supposed to face this big, beautiful world. At that time, they were living in a place called Katol Road in Nagpur. One day, the first memories of this boy are this. This boy came down from his first floor flat and went near a lamppost. At that time, he was just four years old. This guy looked up at the sky and asked somebody who he did not know at all. Sir, why have you brought me into this world? He got no answer. However, this was the first memory of that guy. Now, in, please let me know what you think of my talk on this particular subject. This story is not yet over. Kindly give 
your own opinions, thoughts, and ideas about this so that we may blend it together and come up with something which is beneficial to the whole society. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that I may keep reminding you of my other stories. Till we meet in my next video, it is good morning from TSV Raghavan.